You know, ideas, we all know this, ideas are far more important than technology or anything else. Always have been. Always have been. You can be ill-equipped, but if you're well-led and led with intelligence, you're going to, you're going to be far better off. There were a number of initiatives that, uh, that General DePew, General Gorman, General Richardson, General Bono, other Army leaders pushed to the front in that period. There was a, uh, a great change in our training doctrine, a great improvement in how we trained. Uh, there was a general sharpening up of the schools. Uh, there was the developing notion that there should be a second year program, which came to be the School of Advanced Military Studies and there were the doctrinal shifts. The, the role of the SAMS graduate, the, uh, the officers that we had in Afghanistan and RC South cannot be, uh, it cannot be over exaggerated how important they were. Those officers eventually became an extension of that commander's uh, mind, if you would. Um, and they interacted in such a way that uh, that symbiotic relationship between those two with the commander providing what he wants he knew what he wanted, he could see what he wanted, he could visualize what he wanted, and he could articulate what he wanted because they were feeding him the correct things that he needed to truly command the spectrum, the full spectrum of the operations that we were doing there. That capability, I don't think, is replicated anyplace else in the world. Over time, in conjunction with the intellectual portion that we do, uh, we do a series of exercises so that when they leave, they understand not only the practical application of how to plan, how to build options, courses of action for a division and corps commander, but they also understand the theoretical grounding. We focus on building effective operational planners. Everywhere we turned uh, to the tactical and operation on strategic organizations, there was a SAMS planner who understood intuitively what we were after in terms of ends, ways, and means, and uh, that made an enormous difference, I think, in the quality of that operation. with a fist and a flanking movement and drove through them and we were given uh, operational control of the 1st Cavalry Division and we had it planned a, an envelopment with the 1st Cavalry Division around from the north and, and the Big Red One from the south. We had not only recent graduates who were planners but we had those who had gone on and, and had become commanders. Their contributions were absolutely vital to the success, the battlefield success and the mission success. There's something different about the SAMS graduate and the way that the graduates look at problems, the types of solution sets that they come up with, the advice that they give, the depth of their knowledge. And this is very useful for commanders to receive the benefit of. It helps them to go to a different level themselves. At least I've certainly found that as a brigade commander with SAMS graduates, as a division commander with SAMS graduates, as a deputy commander at Corps, and now as an Army commander. In the last number of decades, if you look at all the operations we've done, whether it's Desert Storm, Panama, the Balkans, Operation Iraqi Freedom, Enduring Freedom, it has always been the SAMS graduates that have been able to think through the problem, conceptualize it, come up with a plan, and then synchronize it. So none of these large-scale operations were done without really the center of gravity being the work done by SAMS graduates. Well, I think uh, the SAMS education uh, was very uh, beneficial to me because it was, it was one of the things that uh, has really inspired me to continue to grow and learn. And no matter how much you know, there's more you can learn and more you can know about what you're doing. And that's really critical in today's environment, which is very, very complex and uh, just that desire to continue to grow and learn and become more knowledgeable about what you're doing is important no matter where you are. What this gave me was a set of principles from which I could choose and then apply to whatever problem I had. If I could use a golfing analogy, when I go golfing, I don't take one club 
And uh, what Sam's gave me is many intellectual clubs from which I could choose to solve the problems that no one could have anticipated that I or anyone else would, would have faced. It makes them better officers in general. And, uh, you know, some of them want to remain infantry, some of them want to remain armor, some want to be quartermaster. They want to be their base branch, but they want to be the best in their base branch. And history has proven that those who are the best that come out of SAMS, those who perform well back in their base branches, continue to be promoted up through the ranks and recognized for their efforts. Not their efforts as a SAMS planner and not brought up only because they're a SAMS planner, but because SAMS makes them a better officer.